A Guthrie man says he was duped by a hot tub repairman. That hot tub repairman was also the subject of a News 9 investigation seven years ago. News 9's Steve Shaw is live in Guthrie with what the complaint is this time. Steve? Kelly, this Corvette was the official pace car of the 1978 Indianapolis 500. The gentleman that owns it also owns a hot tub out yonder that was supposed to be fixed by the pool and spa guys. I never got belligerent with him or anything. I always gave him the benefit of the doubt. Last December, Kirk Straub paid Frank Jeskavage $780 to replace a water pump. Frank did the job, so Kirk paid the pool and spa guy another grand to fix a leak and replace some heat controls. I questioned him at the time, you know, that's a lot of money to put in an old hot tub. Kirk says since December, Jeskavage has been out just once when he tore the thing apart two months ago. He just never would show. So Kirk put on his Magnum PI cap and did a little investigating. I googled him online and that's when I found the Amanda Taylor story on him back in 2010 or 11. And then when you do reach him, it's one story after another after another, and then your money's gone. It was April 2011 when News 9's Amanda Taylor learned the pool and spa guy had left a trail of angry customers in his wake. Uh, he's not happy with you. I'd like you to give me a call back, uh, be a man about it. Not even 10 minutes after I left that message for Frank Friday afternoon, he called me back. He said, quote, I'm going to go out there next week and take care of him. Kirk's not holding his breath. In the same time frame, uh, I lost my dad, and he knew that, and he knew I was having health issues, and uh, he, he's just a good con man. I repeatedly asked the pool and spa guy for an on-camera interview late this afternoon. He said he couldn't do it. He's tending to family matters somewhere in Pennsylvania. Live on the scene on the story in Guthrie, Steve Shaw, News 9.